let's start in a seated position getting comfortable with any support that you need to sit comfortably closing the eyes bringing your awareness inward and feeling the base of your body sit bones and the pelvis legs and feet earth beneath you and allowing the earth to support your weight bringing awareness into the spinal column finding that quality of uprightness broad across the heart and shoulders and a softness within the facial muscles as you become aware of the inhale and exhale of your breath and as you're ready interlocking the hands palms facing up to the sky stretching the arms upward as you breathe in lowering the arms as you exhale reaching upward stretching the spine arms and shoulders releasing to the crown of the head and again stretching up to the sky and releasing and relaxing lifting the shoulders up to the ears as you breathe in lowering as you breathe out again if you'd like you can sigh as you exhale the breath and lower the shoulders one more time inhaling up to the ears exhale and release fingertips on your collarbones as you circle the elbows upward back and down creating a massage for the upper back opening up in the chest area deepening your breathing and now in the opposite direction elbows reaching up to the sky back to the front and continuing this movement and then release arms at the sides reaching the arms upward palms facing the sky as you stretch the spine and the shoulders reaching forward rounding the spine as you exhale the breath sweeping the arms behind you as you lift the heart and press the shoulder blades together and on the exhale coming back to our starting position inhaling up rounding exhaling forward sweeping the arms behind you as you lift the chest on the in-breath release the arms on the out-breath one more time inhaling up exhaling forward inhaling behind you exhale release next we'll move into a twist and turning and twisting to the left side breathing into your twist 
feeling the twist through the rib cage, spinal column, neck and throat. And then unwinding, coming back into center. Pause for a moment. And come to the other side. One hand behind and the other hand across on the opposite knee as you turn and twist to the right side. Feeling the twist through your back and torso. And then unwind and release. Let's stretch the legs and bring some circulation into the legs, tapping the legs against the floor. And then moving your toes together and apart to bring movement into the hip area. And then bringing the soles of the feet together for butterfly. Knees moving up and down. They can move faster or slower than the way I'm moving. Find a pace that suits you as you bring awareness into the hip joints. Becoming aware of the inner thighs. Aware of your groin. Now let's switch positions, bringing the feet on the floor wide apart. Leaning back into the hands and both knees to one side and then the other side. And feeling this movement in the area of your hips. As you alternate one side to the other. Then coming on to the hands and knees. Alternating cat and child's pose. Inhaling, looking upward. Exhaling, sinking back into child's pose. And moving at the impulse of your breath. Inhale, extending the spine, stretching the front of the body. Exhale, sinking back, chest towards the thighs, head towards the ground, and moving at your own pace between these two movements. Harmonizing the movement with your breath. Noticing the introverting and extroverting qualities of these two positions. Generally, forward bends are introverting and backward bends extroverting. Next, coming into a neutral position on the hands and knees. Extending your right leg back and left arm forward in a balancing position. Then switching sides, left leg and right arm. You'll continue to alternate sides, coming into a balance that strengthens the core.
reaching and then bringing elbow and knee together. Reaching and then elbow and knee coming together. Adding to this balancing pose. And then switching sides. Extending first, leg and arm. And then elbow and knee coming towards one another and away from one another. Continuing this movement a few times. Again, strengthening the core in this balancing position. And then coming on to the hands and knees and on to the elbows, again in cat pose, rounding the spine and looking upward as we stretch the front of the body. We're stretching the back of the body and the front of the body. Moving at your own pace. And settling back into child's pose, buttocks on the heels, forehead towards the ground. Next, rolling up into sitting. Preparing for a downward dog, in an easier variation, right hand forward, left forearm across, and the head resting on your left forearm as we sink the sit bones back, stretching the right shoulder and right side of the body. Sliding back to the heels, rolling up into sitting, and coming to the other side, left arm forward, right forearm across, forehead resting on your right forearm as you lean the sit bones back. Feeling the stretch through the left shoulder, left arm, and left side. Sliding back to the heels in child's pose. Rolling up into sitting. And now coming on to the hands and knees and into downward dog. In this version of downward dog, we'll lift up onto our toes, lifting the heels as high as you can, pressing the chest towards the thighs, pressing the floor away from you. And then allowing the heels to come towards the ground. Maybe they'll touch, maybe not. A few more slow breaths in downward facing dog. You can always rest in child's pose. And then coming forward into a high push up position or plank pose. We're bearing our weight strengthening the arms and the bones, lowering the knees down and then coming all the way onto the front, palm on top of palm, elbows wide, rest for a moment, and then turn to the right side and hold on to your right foot as you stretch the right thigh. Release the right leg, turn your head to the left side, hold on to the left foot with one or both hands as you stretch the left thigh. 
and a slow and relaxed breathing. Release your left leg, arms beside you, lifting the whole body up, continuing to breathe as we strengthen the back muscles, chest lifting, legs lifting, and then lowering down. Again, lifting, the whole body lifting as you're breathing, on the exhale, lowering down. And one more time, lifting, strengthening the back muscles, back of the leg, and lowering down. Next, we'll interlock the hands behind us and lift just the upper body in a chest opener reaching the arms away, shoulder blades together, chest lifting and opening and broadening and then lowering. And next in Cobra, hands underneath of the shoulders as we lift the chest and head and lower it out. Inhale and lifting. Exhale and lowering. One more time, inhale and lifting in Cobra. Breathing in Cobra. Lowering head and chest down. Pressing back into child's pose. Resting, breathing. Rolling up into sitting and stepping forward with your right leg in a lunge position. You can use props for the hands if they don't reach the ground. finding a softness in your gaze, and then stepping forward into a forward fold, the upper body relaxed forward over the legs. And slow breath. The slow breathing helps to relax the body right foot back, right knee down, coming to lunge on the other side. Again, using props if your hands don't reach the ground as you lean into a lunge. And then stepping into a forward fold. Taking a few breaths as we open the back of the legs and then draw the abdomen in and roll up into standing. Reach your arms upward, palms together. Stretch the whole body and then bring the palms to the heart. We'll move into the sun salutation Palms reaching upward as you stretch the whole body. And on the exhale, lowering into a forward fold. Breathing throughout the movements, right leg back. You're breathing in each of the poses and through the transitions. Stepping back into a plank or a push-up position. Lowering your knees, chest and chin. 
If that feels uncomfortable, come right on to the front of your body. And then into Cobra, just like we practiced before. Lowering the head down, coming onto the hands and knees as a transition into Downward Dog. You can come into Child's Pose or Cat Pose as an alternate. And then stepping forward with your right leg, coming into our lunge position again. Stepping forward into a forward fold. Breathing deeply as you roll up into standing, arms reach wide, palms touch together above the crown and come towards your heart. And then feel and breathe. And before we do the next round, we'll come into a side bend, reaching the arms upward as you bend towards the left side and stretch the right side of your body. Coming back into center and now bending towards the right. Coming back into center, releasing the arms as you fold forward into a forward bend. And we'll move directly into our sun salutation, the left leg back into a low lunge. This time you can bring the body upright. Stepping back into a high push-up position or plank pose. Lowering the knees, chest, and chin. That's awkward. Come right onto the front of your body. And transition into cobra. Relax the head and chest down, come onto the hands and knees, downward dog or child's pose. Left leg forward into a lunge position with the torso upright or any variation that suits you and your body. Bringing the hands down, stepping into a forward fold. Taking a few relaxed breaths, rolling up into standing, arms reaching up to the sky, and bringing palms together to the heart. Interlock the hands, palms facing skyward for another side bend, bending to the left side, to stretch the right side of the body. Coming back to center and bending to the right side to stretch the left side of the body. Coming back to center, releasing your hands as you fold forward and we move into our sun salutation again. With the right leg back, knee down. And if you'd like this time, reaching the palms together above the crown of the head. Bringing the hands down and stepping into a plank pose. Lowering knees, chest and chin. Coming into cobra. Of course, you can always modify any of these positions. Next into downward dog. Again, focusing on that breathing in each of the poses and the transitions. Right leg forward in lunge. Palms can reach up to the sky. Then the hands down coming into a forward fold. Taking a few deep breaths. 
and then rolling up into standing, arms reaching wide, palms together above the crown, and down to the heart. Reaching upward, stretching the whole body and folding forward. Forward fold, and then left leg back in lunge. You can take whatever position works, perhaps palms reaching upward, and then stepping back into plank pose. Knees can be on the ground if that's easier. Lowering onto knees, chest and chin or the front of the body. Moving into Cobra. Then onto the hands and knees and back into downward facing dog. And stepping forward with the left foot, coming to the lunge again, taking whatever position works for your hands, maybe reaching to the sky or maybe being by your feet. Stepping into a forward fold. Feeling again your breath. And as you're ready, we'll come into a chest opener, interlocking hands behind the back and reaching arms upward to the sky or towards the front. Hands release to your low back and slide along the backs of the legs. And then we slowly roll up into standing. Take a moment just to pause and to feel and to breathe. Next, we'll move into balancing, shifting the weight onto your left leg and lifting the right knee, and then alternating. So we're stepping onto one leg, shifting the weight, lifting the knee, and continuing to alternate as you practice balance and strengthening your leg. And next time we come on to the left leg, let's hold on to the right knee in a standing balance pose. And then switch sides, standing on your right leg, holding on to the left knee. If you need to shake out the legs, you can. If not, we'll move directly into the next balancing position, standing on the left leg and making a circular movement with your right knee, warming up and opening the right hip joint, making that circular movement in both directions. And switching sides, standing on your right leg and the left knee moving in a circular motion. Feeling the left hip. Opposite direction. And then bringing the foot to the ground. You can shake out the legs if you need. 
Next, we'll come into a balancing position, standing on the right left leg, right knee opening to the side, and you can counter the balance with the left arm reaching outward. And then coming back into a neutral position, left knee coming out, reaching out to the left side, your right arm counterbalancing and reaching to the right. And then coming back into center. Next, we're going to come into a squat. If you need support for your squat, you can place some height underneath of the heels. As you lower down, palms can be together in front of the heart and see if you can elongate the spine. And feel into the squatting position. And then let's come out of our squat and into a seated position for some stretches for the neck. Chin down as you exhale, looking upward to the sky as you breathe in. Down as you exhale, in as you look up. And one more time, down and up. Coming back into center, we're going to switch and turn over the left shoulder, turning and twisting the neck and throat. Breathing into that twist, coming back into center and turning over the right shoulder as we twist into the neck and throat area. You can think of wringing out your neck and throat area. And we'll move next into a side neck stretch, tipping the head to the left shoulder. Your right fingertips can move away, stretching the right side of the neck. And coming back into center and then head tipping to the right shoulder, left fingertips away as you stretch the left side of the neck. Coming back into center, and now let's extend our right leg outward, left heel towards your groin. Turn so that you're centered over your right leg and hinge forward. Your hands can rest wherever they reach. If it's helpful, you can close your eyes as you really focus inward. Focusing on a slow and relaxed breath. giving the body time to adjust to this shape. And then we roll up, bend the right knee, extend the left leg, coming to the other side as we hinge forward, resting the arms wherever they reach. If it's helpful, eyes can close. As you focus on your breath, and 
can give time for the body to adjust to this shape. Coming up, bending the left knee, and now we're going to stack the knees, right knee underneath, left knee over top. Hold on to each elbow with each palm. This is a deep hip opener. You might feel it in the back of the hip area And it might take quite a bit of focus to really breathe in a way that helps to soften the body tissue. Relaxing your arms, and now we'll switch sides. So our left knee underneath, stacking our right knee over top. And then holding on to each elbow with each palm. This helps to elongate the spine. As we focus on our breath, trying to use breath to really create a softening. And softening in the hip area, the hip muscles. And then release the arms and unwind the legs. And let's find our way onto the back into a comfortable position lying on the earth mother earth beneath you sky above and breath flowing through you like a gentle wave as you release and relax letting go of all tension And settling into stillness and silence. Deepening your breath and beginning to move your body and stretch the limbs. Perhaps a yawn or sigh as you stretch. Rolling on to one side as you come up into sitting. Taking a moment to come back into a seated position and to dedicate your practice for the well-being of all. May all be healthy. May all experience peace. May all be happy. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.